On today's Sam the Cooking Guy, we make insanely delicious sliders with grilled chicken, our own homemade onion rings, all on top of our handmade delicious Parker rolls. Remember these? Do you remember these? We made them in the last episode. Oh my gosh, and they are so good. Parker rolls that when they come out of the oven, there's butter and honey over the top and then kosher salt. A little crunch, a little savoriness, sweet underneath, light, airy, pillowy. They're, they're so delicious. Now, we have only a couple jobs to turn these works of art into an even larger masterpiece. We're gonna grill some chicken, simply. We're gonna make our own onion rings, simply. And then we throw all the shit together for truly ridiculousness. Who's in? Everybody's in? Chicken's up first. Now onto the chicken and I'm using Max's dreaded chicken thighs. Why can't you use chicken breasts? <sighs> Too bad for you. Little uh, avocado oil. There's that sound again. Huh, how does it always happen? Whoop, whoop, whoop. And now the only thing we're gonna season it with is some kosher salt and pepper. We're gonna let the, the barbecue sauce aspect of this bring more flavor than less, so. We don't have to do too much craziness here, but I would like some garlic powder. And so we'll add this, gently mix, gently, gently. And when you've got what you want, and I've got what I want, we go to the grill. So we're gonna go the flat, smooth side down first, just because that's what we do, it's what I do. On they go. Fingernail pulling time. <laughs> So I need to explain this because Max thinks I'm an idiot, but I don't want to do it just staring at it. I think they'd rather stare at the chicken than your face for another Okay, then I'll, then I'll do it here. Okay, here's the deal. I'll explain. Even though we're gonna chop this up, even if you're gonna make it into chicken salad or whatever, when I put chicken down, when I put fish down, when I put anything down, the side that goes down first is what will be the presentation side because that's when the grill is at its cleanest and hottest. And so, Look, at this is the inside part of the chicken, and you wouldn't want that face up on a plate, but you would want this gorgeous side, right? So, it's that simple. And look, these guys oiled nicely. I gave the grill a little shot of non-stick spray. It's coming along beautifully. Let's turn these kids. That's it. There's your presentation side. I mean, not for us today, but another time, perhaps. This is valuable information we share, everyone. Valuable. So there's really not much more you need to see of cooking chicken because it's just cooking chicken. Beautiful cooking chicken, but still. Don't dry it out, though. That's the key. We forgot to tell you that the guesses for Max's drink, many of you got it right, and it was black tea with lemonade. So today we make it a little harder. Max has a new drink. Pass it, please. He drank most of it. I find it rather disgusting. I'm sure there will be some reasonable guesses out there, but just gonna say, it may not be what you think. What I think of it is, ooh. All right, uh, as soon as this is done, they come off and then the onion rings begin and then this heavenly, amazing sandwich comes together. You excited? Anybody excited? Yes. Meh. Good. Meh? Meh? And as they start to become done, like this thin little guy, we'll take them off. And then wait for the other ones to catch up. And if you're not sure, instant read thermometer is your friend. Chicken, you know, they say cook to 165. Well, I'm good at about 160. This is not there because it's going to carry over a little bit. 140, 155, 156. This guy's good. Give me another second. Flatten that piece. Let's take a look. Ah, mother God. People Why am I? An, people want an Al That's Hot t-shirt. Oh, how about mother because it is hot. So, look. Yeah, this is all beautiful now. Oh, it's ripping. It's gorgeous. See, the thing is, if you wait till it's 165, I'm telling you what you're gonna do is one thing. You're just gonna dry the shit out. And you want dry chicken? Do you? 
Because I don't. All right, it's beautiful, and now it's time for onion rings. We begin this process for our onion rings with some flour. To that, we'll add some cornstarch for extra crispiness. Big pinch of kosher salt and pepper, because seasoning is always a very important thing, young Max, isn't it? And now, one of the things that helps make these light and delicious is some club soda. It's about the bubbles. So you'll see how thick this needs to be. Let's see where we want to get this. Clearly I'm gonna need more, but maybe not too much more. You sort of want this like just under the thickness of pancake batter. Not thin, but not too thick. That's too thick, so a little bit more. That's pretty much getting there. Nice. Okay, we're gonna let this sit for a couple minutes while we prep our onions. Perfect. And we begin with a couple small onions. And I say small, I actually had to look and find small ones that they sold in a bag of like four pounds or five pounds or something because they gotta match our rolls. If you have a giant onion ring, it's just gonna hang over the edge. And I knew that that was gonna make Max insane. So cut the ends off, and then peel. This outside one I don't want. Let's get rid of it. How about a zipper? That would make peeling onions really easy, wouldn't it? Just a straight frickin' zipper. All right, get rid of those. Let's see what we've got. Now, you don't wanna cut them too thick because they'll take too long to cook. So let's go. Let's go about a quarter of an inch. Does yeah. that look right? That looks right. Well, one onion might be enough for us today. Because don't forget, one slice does this. Makes a whole bunch. Beautiful, beautiful. So separate the rings. Fantastic. So these little guys, we can put a couple of those on. This is perfect. Bust open some more. And we're almost there. So let's just get these off to the side, deal with our chicken for a minute. That is just sitting waiting for us. Perfect. So here's what we've got. We've got our chicken that we cooked quickly on the grill. Sorry, one little bite. Mm-hmm. So I like thin pieces like this. This clearly is not shredded chicken. Little guys like this are going to be perfect. And don't forget, I mean, this was just salt, pepper, garlic powder. Well, why? Because, because this is going in barbecue sauce in about 20 seconds and it's gonna be amazing. A friend of mine said to me the other day, dude, what's up with the Raycons? I go, you mean my everyday E25s? He goes, yeah. I go, oh, I don't know. They've got great sound. They're super comfortable. They're noise isolating and they've got a long lasting battery. Is that enough for you? And he was like, uh, uh, yeah, I think so. And sometimes when we're not shooting, like right now, I need a moment. I either want to make a phone call, I want to listen and chill with some music, or I just want to listen to a podcast. And that's where these little guys come in perfectly. The company was founded by Ray J and celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Melissa Etheridge are fans of them. I like them because they're small, they're discreet, there's no dangling wires or stems, and I can do this. And they don't fall out, and that's important to me. And check this out. Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market, and they sound just as amazing as the other top audio brands you know. They give you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design for this comfortable noise isolating fit. And considering now's the time to get the best prices of the year on Raycons, they make the ideal holiday gift because whoever you give them to can literally use them every day, at work, at play, driving, walking, even cooking. But you have to hurry because this offer is available for just a limited time. So what do you do? Click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash STCG to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. I don't always wear wireless earbuds, but when I do, I prefer Raycon.
It's a simple process. Look, if you didn't want to cook your own chicken, which, you know, maybe you don't feel like it, deli roasted chicken, bring it home from the store while it's still warm, just shred it up. Put it in a bowl, add any kind of barbecue sauce. I'm just going to pimp my friend Sean's Cali Comfort restaurant. He makes his own barbecue sauce. This is jalapeno. It's going to give that kick. It's going to be amazing. And uh, he's a great guy. So go check him out. You might see something on a site you want to buy. And by the way, he's affected like every other freaking restaurant right now in this state. We can't do uh, people inside. We can't do people outside. All we can do now is takeout and delivery. And everybody's hurting. This shit has got to end. Okay, let's mix this together first. Sauce in. You don't want it too saucy. You don't want it too saucy, mate. That's tremendous. All right, say it, Max. Now we build. Dredge. So here's how this works. One more stir in here. The onions are gonna go in this flour nonsense, but then they need something crispy on the outside. And here's what we're using. Cornflake crumbs. Remember those chicken leg things we made with getting rid of all the bones except for the leg bone? Same thing, gonna be great. So here we go, we take a couple of the onions. We drop them in, push them down. Nice coverage, give them a little pat, and then they go. And then with your dry hand, you do that. So they're there. Next guy, knock off a little, drop them in, give them some nice coverage. These guys can sit on a plate. We'll we do a few more before we throw them in the oil. Who doesn't like onion rings? I don't wanna know the person that doesn't want onion rings. You person who doesn't like onion rings? <laughs> Why do I laugh every time you do that? And now, we fry. And when your oil is hot, about uh, oh, 370, 365, in we go. That's what you want. You want bubbling action right away. We won't overload, but I think we can get quite a few in here for now. And this is probably going to be a three minute process, I think. I think. I mean, look, you just need everybody to be golden brown, which is a little difficult considering the color that we started out with, but we're going to figure this out. We're going to be fine here, folks. Just fine. Wow, crispy onion rings in our future, boys. So let's have a look. Yeah, I want them turned now. No, oh, this one, this one, and this one. Look how gorgeous they are, man. Man. Another minute and a half or so, and we build. And we're there and ready to come out. So let's grab up some. Grab up. Drip, drip, drip. You hear them going on? Wait for it. Oh, the smell of onion rings. Gorgeous. You ready to build? Come on. Before we build, I must have a bite. This beautiful looking, crispy onion ring. Wait for the crunch. It's like shattering glass. Holy sh Oh, perfect. Oh my God. Oh, come on. All right. Can you understand me like this? You okay? Now we build. So here's what, here's what we do. Get one of our rolls. Look at that guy. Wow. Now we're going to cut them open. Sorry, my friend. It has to happen. Now, you know I'm a fan of toasting first. I'm not going to. These are so fresh and amazing. I want the softness. We had one thing on the bottom. A scoosh, a scoosh of Japanese mayo. Spread it. On top goes our chicken and Kelly Comfort jalapeno barbecue sauce. Wow. This is gonna be mental. Touch more. And then a well-chosen onion ring. Let's go like this, how's this? A couple of these guys, like that, and then like that. And then the push. And there it is. Basically built by hand from the bottom up. We made the Parker rolls. We grilled the chicken. We made the onion rings. Yes, it's Japanese mayonnaise and Sean's barbecue sauce, but still, you know how great that's gonna be? And the Japanese mayo and the barbecue sauce combo is the key. Wish you were me. 
Okay, you probably don't wish you were me because I'm old and whatever, but wish you could have this right now. I feel messy, am I? You're good. Mm. You hear this? The roll. Great ingredients make great things. <laughs> and what, dishes, what's the yeah. dishes? This is great. This is great. This is great. It's all great. Oh. It's not fair. But it wouldn't be fair if you couldn't do it and you can. So do it. I can't even hear from the crunching inside my own head. Mm. I could eat 20 of them, but I won't. I just want to say thanks for hanging out. These, outstanding. The whole thing, outstanding-er. Thanks for watching, commenting, asking us questions, subscribing, hitting the notification bell, which if you haven't done it, you should do that now. Right, boys? Right. right. We that was we planned that. That was almost a sir, yes, sir. <laughs> all right, thanks for hanging out. Make something good. Don't eat the same food all the time. Go buy my book. This isn't in it, but it could be. In the next one, maybe. <laughs> <laughs>